Hey, it's Rick. Welcome to the channel. I've been playing around recently trying to learn screen printing. I've been buggering up a lot of test shirts, trying to figure it out. I thought I should step back and do some experiments so I better understand what mesh count to use to get my preferred results. Since I haven't found this info on YouTube, I thought I'd post it here. Maybe somebody else will find it helpful. I'm using water-based discharge ink. It's got no pigment in it, so it produces a very soft hand. For those of you new to discharge, this is how it works. The base ink has ingredients in it that when combined with the activation powder, creates an ink that will, when heated, remove the dye from the cotton shirt. It only works on natural fibers, and once mixed, the resulting ink will only be good for around eight hours. So it's important that you only mix enough ink that you'll use for that day. It can't be reactivated with more powder, and you can't add the powder to just any ink, it won't turn it into discharge ink. It's gotta be the special base. I've set up four screens on my press, a 110 mesh, a 160, a 230, and a 305. I only tested these mesh counts because these are the only ones I've got available to me. I just used a random film I had laying around to expose them all the same. The good thing with discharge is that if you think you've messed up, you can wash it out before heat setting. It's the heat that causes it to discharge the dye of the shirt. I cut these samples out of the shirts as I plan to keep them in a book so I can refer to them whenever I like. It's not so easy to see with this video camera, but there is a noticeable difference between them, especially the 110 to the 305. What I've done to provide the best possible reference for the viewer is to scan them on a flatbed at 600 dpi. Here's that time lapse. These haven't been color corrected or anything, and the scanner software's had all the auto adjust settings turned off, so what you're seeing is an accurate comparison. You definitely lay down a lot less discharge to the higher mesh counts. That can give you a very vintage heather look, if that's what you're looking for. And of course the hand is non-existent. It just feels like shirt. This is the natural color of undyed cotton. You can add pigments to these to colorize them, and I think in a future video, I'll run this whole mesh count experiment again with that product. The discharge in lower mesh counts certainly seems to play nice with the fibers. None of the samples I tried had any fibrillation.
Anyway, that's it for this one. I'm going to try this experiment with a few more inks to add to my sample library. Hopefully you got something useful out of this. Hit all the buttons on your way out, and thanks for watching.